Right, so here's how I 10x to my SMMA's agency revenue in 90 days solely by leveraging free Google organic traffic. Now, what does this mean? It means that I'm gonna be leveraging Google, the search engine, to drive traffic to my social media marketing agency to make money with it for free, okay? And this boils down essentially to three points, okay? The very first one is focusing on buying intent keywords or high buyer intent keywords. Now, I'm gonna give you an example on actually SMMA, what this means for SMMA, but first I wanna give you some context on exactly what does this mean because I think it's important that you understand what it means. Okay, so let's say for example, I have an iPhone repair shop, right? People come into my shop, right, physically to repair their iPhones, right? But they of course need to come to my website first, right? So they come to my site, jeez, they come to my site first, and then they come to my iPhone repair shop. Now people can come into my shop by typing on Google, for example, uh, how much does it cost to repair an iPhone or where can I repair an iPhone? But they can also come in by typing in, for example, um, how to repair an iPhone, right? And let's say, for example, this keyword has 10,000 searches per month and these two, the where or how much, only have 1,000, right? One might think to maybe focus on this one, right? how to repair an iPhone has 10,000 searches. I'm gonna be focused on this one and get all this traffic in through my site into my shop. However, that's wrong, right? Because the buying intent is what matters here. Don't focus on traffic, focus on buying intent, right? Because we can assume that someone searching for how much does it cost or where can I repair my iPhone is much more likely to buy than someone searching for how? Because someone searching for how might want to do it themselves. They're less predisposed to paying someone to do it for them. Again, while someone searching for where or how much, they might be more predisposed to paying someone to do it for them. And this is the concept of buying intent versus traffic. So if we have a, a graph right here, where in the y-axis we have BI, which is buying intent, and in the x-axis we have traffic, which the higher the traffic, usually the higher the competition of the keyword, right? We want to list the keywords we want to rank for, all the keywords we want to rank for, and then plot them here in this graph, right? And then once you have them all here, do not go for keywords here, nor here, but do go for keywords here in these two quadrants, the, this first quadrant and this second quadrant. Why? Because these um, tell you that the keywords here and here have high buying intent. So people searching for them are predisposed to buying. So it's not so much about the traffic, it's more about the buying intent, right? How likely is someone searching for a certain keyword is that is to buy your product, okay? So when you have a list of keywords, again, focus on keywords that when people search for them, they're likely to buy. Now, I wanna give you an exact example on how this works for the SMMA niche. So here are a couple of examples, right? We're gonna just paste them here. And this was taken off of ChatGPT because of course I don't own a chat, a SMMA agency, so I don't have uh, the context into it. I used to, but I no longer have. But again, you can leverage tools like ChatGPT for this. And I'll, I'll show you the prompt here in just a second, but here you go. High buying intent keywords, best social media marketing agencies. You can even add like plus location, New York, right? Whatever. Social media marketing agencies, services pricing, okay? You can even do social media marketing agency in location, services pricing, because someone's searching for the services and pricing, they're looking to buy, right? They're looking for the services and the price because they wanna buy, right? Hire SMMA expert, right? Hire, they wanna hire someone, right? Uh, SMMA advertising packages, okay? They're looking for packages, right? You get the point. You see high buying intent keywords. Low buying intent keywords could be uh, tips for social media marketing, right? Mm, most likely, again, someone looking for tips wants to do it themselves. Uh, free social media marketing tools, DIY social graph hacks, social media marketing online course. So again, everyone, anyone searching for these, most likely they want to do it themselves. They're not looking to pay someone. And the whole thing about high buying intent keywords is that someone searching for them is ready to buy. Okay, that's the whole thing about this. And let me show you the prompt. Here's what you can do, right? Just type in this. A high buying intent keyword for iPhone repair business is how much does it cost to repair an iPhone or where can I repair my iPhone? A low buying intent keyword is how to repair an iPhone. This is because someone searching for how to repair an iPhone most likely wants to do it themselves and not pay someone to do it for them. While someone searching for how, how much does it cost to repair an iPhone or where can I repair an iPhone, we can assume they want to pay someone for it. Applying the same logic to social media marketing agency, give me a list of keywords with high buying intent and low buying intent, right? Be concise, right? I always do be concise because otherwise you're gonna start yapping a lot, right? And here are, here are the keywords, right? This and this. You can even tell it to be more aggressive with the, high, the intent of buying and it'll be more aggressive, okay? And again, this helps you, ChatGPT helps you come up with these keywords and come up with high buying intent keywords if you're struggling with it, okay? But this is the very first thing. You wanna target, you wanna rank for these keywords. And even though, right, these might have low traffic volume, right? Even though the traffic vo volume for this might be low or lower, the buying intent is still there and you wanna go for buying intent over traffic, right? Even if it has only one search per month, but the person searching for this is ready to give you their money, you wanna target this keyword, okay? 
So this is the very first thing, hopefully it made sense. Now, in second is, of course, leverage locations. This applies to, of course, the buying intent of the keywords, because again, you can add location to after every single one of these. And you can have specific location pages, so that's it's your agency, right? Let's say your agency's site right here, and you have multiple location pages by targeting and servicing customers in different locations, different cities, different countries, whatever, right? Have these location pages ready, and because of those location pages already, if someone searches for, again, SMMA services in location, even though, yes, that keyword might have a very low, low search volume, that person that's searching for it is looking for a local person in their city to do it for them for whatever reason that is, right? Maybe they want to, I don't know, they feel more comfortable in that way. So again, you can leverage locations and rank for keywords with locations, high buying intent keywords with locations, to target and get that traffic for you. And again, most people don't do this, so it is super, super important that you do because again, you're going to capture part of the market that's not being captured. And finally, leveraging free tools. Now, this is a tricky one. What you can do here is, for example, taking a look at this keyword right here. And I know this is a low buying intent keyword, but uh, um, free social media marketing tools, right? What you can do is you can offer and build tools on your site that allow them to, I don't know, automatic Instagram captions uh, tools, Instagram page templates, whatever. And the best business doing this is a billion dollar company called Canva, right? They have all of these free tools, Canva. They have all these free tools that uh, drive traffic into their business. So they, are, they rank for all their free tools, right? And I have a video on this on the channel already. Uh, I'll link it down below on, on Canva strategy. But what Canva is doing is providing people with free tools. And what you can do is, okay, you think, okay, what services do my SMMA agency offers, right? And out of which those services, which one's going to transform in free tools where I can give them uh, a little hint of what my full service is. Now, this is complex, you might want to hire a dev, but it is, a, it is something that nobody is doing. Only billion dollar companies are doing, and it's pretty cool that nowadays you can copy the strategy of billion dollar companies. But again, if you want to meet more depth on this thing right here, check, I think my latest video, or th three or two videos ago, I, I go over this in specific for Canva, for Ahrefs, and for Veed, which are two, or three, sorry, multi-million dollar and billion dollar companies. So yeah, that's it. That's how I do it. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.